Yo guys and welcome to a new video. Today we are talking about Pixar's new movie, Turning Rats. So today we are talking about Turning Red, or just to say Pixar's 25th future film, so we have come a long way since Toy Story. Sadly, it's also the third movie to directly debut on Disney Plus instead of going to theaters following the trend set up by Soul and Luca, and I know it's quite sad. And I was one of the lucky ones to watch Onward in a movie theater in back in 2020, but that movie too came actually quite directly onto Disney Plus. Whenever the theaters closed, that movie was on it. So I really, really hope they are going to break the strength with Lightyear because I do think Lightyear will be a massive blockbuster for Pixar. And there's nothing that's better than just watch a movie in a movie theater like it's supposed to with a giant screen, dimmed lights, a bunch of other people chewing and drinking everything between the good moments and just having that nice sound. And I gotta say, I wasn't the biggest fan of Turning Red, I'm sorry, I just wasn't, it wasn't made for me, but I do think that a movie theater experience would have made this one better. And let's just state the obvious before we go into the review. This movie is like the least Pixarist movie that Pixar has made. I mean, the animation looks different, the story is different, the metaphors are smaller, the audience specifics is narrow. This movie is made for an extremely specific audience that I just don't fall into. I am just way too young for it, if you know what I mean. And with young I mean that this cent is centered around 13 year old girls in 2002, but back in 2002 I was 2 years old. So I didn't know anything about boy bands from 2002 and the world that they live in from 2002. And I watched this with my friend Kevin who is 30 at this moment or 31, 32, I don't know exactly, but he is somewhere in between that. And he's actually the right age for this movie, but he is not a girl. And he was also not into the specifics of the narrow audience that this movie actually tried to attra attract. So there's just a really specific window for the audiences that actually are really gonna feel and like this movie because Pixar movies always tend to touch everyone. They are fun for kids but have deep impactful messages for adults. This movie is not that. This movie is extremely different and I really like the approach. Sadly enough, it just did not work on all fronts. Let's talk about it because Turning Red is still a good movie. It's just flawed. And let me just start by saying that the story is still fun. I mean, it's extremely annoying to watch sometimes because those girls and their friends, the only thing they really do is scream. It's like a literal scream movie tapped into with anime, with less horror and less stabbing and more laughing and more pandas, but still the red, but not for blood, but from a panda. So yeah. Those kids were annoying, they were like real teenagers and I finally came to a moment in my life where I just thought, hey, please stop shouting already, I can't handle the shit. And it was fun to see because the banters between some of the characters and the way they uh, used to talk to each other was fun sometimes to watch, but it was just a little bit much. I really didn't resonate with any of the characters because of that, because I was just... Please stop screaming, please stop screaming. Although I kind of got the gist from why they were doing that. And I think that's got mostly to do with the fact that this movie is made for a specific audience. It wasn't made for me, so I do think that the audience this is made for, being the 13 year old girls right now and the 13 year old girls from 2002, they are gonna love the hell out of this movie because it's made specifically for them and they are really going to resonate with the characters. 
But even though everyone was screaming like all the time in this movie, it's still sad to say that this movie did not have a lot going on. It's the panda and the panda comes and we get a lot of lore from the panda and uh, from the family. But after that, at that's literally the first 15 minutes, after that we just go to school and abuse this panda -ness. and. We do that for the rest of the movie until the last 30 minutes where it actually kind of gets bombastic. So there's really not much going on. There's not anything of an adventure. It's just not much. But I had the same problem with Encanto that that movie didn't have much going on also. So maybe I will tend to love this movie more in the future. As I did with Encanto. I really love the movie right now. It's still not as great as Moana was, but it's very good. But on the other other hand, even though I didn't think that there was a lot going on, I still wasn't bored. And the third act of this movie actually is pretty good. It's way too bombastic in consideration for the rest of the movie, but it's better. And I really like the third act, so I'm gonna give him props for that. And for the characters, yeah, everyone screamed all the time, but Malin Lee still was a solid lead. She actually got me to care about her and her problem. She just did not do anything else in this movie, so there wasn't really anything to care for. But she did a pretty damn good job and was one of the better parts of the And movie. I must say, I loved the panda. The panda looked phenomenal. The panda looked great. I really liked the panda. Her best friends? Not so much. The boy she hates? Not so, not so much. Her family? To a certain point of view. I mean, the father didn't give a fuck, so I really resonated with the father, and that was one of my favorite characters of the movie. The woman, I mean, her mother, was like, I get your point, but please stop, because you're just way too much. And then came the rest of her family, and then I was out, because I really didn't care about any of the family and what they were going through with the problem. I really did not get the problem that good. But even though the story and the characters are flawed, I have to say that the animation is phenomenal. This movie looks beyond beautiful. The only thing I actually don't really like about the animation is how the mouths were treated. Because they were like giant holes in the face. And I really did not like that. I thought it was kind of ugly to put those mouths, but I kind of got why they did it. And I really, really loved the anime vibes that were thrown into this. The characters really often played like anime characters. I really appreciated that and I really thought that was pretty good. And the pacing was good too, the animation was just phenomenal and the colors, only the mouths were a little bit much. Something Pixar always does best is surprising its fans and surprising the new guys that actually don't care that much about Pixar so everyone can still enjoy a movie. This movie had less of that, this movie was more predictable and more in your face than the other, so I really did not feel anything for that. It was still not bad and I got the metaphors, but it was... It was okay, but I didn't care that much. And talking about the acting, the cast was really great, the cast did a really damn good job for what they had to do with. Rosalie Chang was a great Malin Lee and Sandra Oh was a phenomenal mother. They were like the highlights of this movie, the rest was not that memorable, but it was still really good and really well acted. In the end, Turning Red is a really good movie, but it's just not my cup of tea, and I do have a feeling that a lot of people will have the same complaint as I did, that the movie was just not made for them. I'll give this movie a 726 out of 1000, or 7.3 out of 10. What did you think of Turning Red? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm really excited to hear your opinion about it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.